Today we're going to talk about three things that you need to be aware of and listen for when you're going to fly your quadcopter that could burn up your motors. This first one's pretty straightforward, but if you're going to do tuning moves and doing a lot of step input moves, uh, line of sight or FPV, just like you see here, just to evaluate your tune, that can heat up your motors pretty substantially, especially when it's hot outside. Obviously, all these things, when it's hot outside, the ambient temperature is pretty warm, you know, in the summertime or in whatever climate environment you're in, that's gonna lead to motor heat being higher than normal. And, you know, doing step inputs like this, uh, back to back to back with not a lot of hover time or flight time in between, definitely heats up the motors. Watch out for it, because I've seen it, you know, I've done a lot of tuning and I've brought the quads down, and sometimes those motors are really hot. Uh, sometimes I'll just pause and hover for a little bit in between just to let them cool off a little bit before I start really giving it some aggressive step moves again. This next one is D-term flutter. The last one you have to be aware of. This one you need to be able to listen for and this could change in the seasons. You can hear it right there. Right there which is good sense. So just go back there. You hear that high oscillation, that high frequency. It's kind of subtle, honestly, in the field. And if you fly away from yourself, you won't hear it. But listen for it again. You can hear it right there. You can also hear some uh, high frequency stuff from there. We'll show that a little bit later. But listen to that again. You can hear some of that high frequency going in on there as well. And uh, definitely this high frequency flutter uh, will heat the motors up really quick. If it's too high, you can actually get it to a spot where it will cause uh, flyaway. So if that high frequency oscillation, uh, you get some prop damage, next thing you know, it's going to shoot to the moon. So definitely be on the lookout for that. You do not want to be on that razor's edge where you get that D-term flutter because any damage to the props again, and next thing you know, when you put the throttle down, it's not the quad's not going to throttle down. It's going to throttle up and stay up the whole time. So be a lookout for that. Obviously, that is a big thing that can contribute to motor heat. If you don't hear this and you let it go and then start flying around, especially if you start doing a lot of moves or racing, you're going to burn a motor. Now, this next one is going to be high frequency, super high frequency D-term oscillation. So before it was, we'll call it D-term flutter, where it's kind of low frequency. This is really high frequency. And you see that? You can kind of see it in the camera footage. A little bit. But it's almost like when I get off the throttle. It's like a Right there. Right there, you can really see it really well. as I come around here. Again, that is a super high frequency D term and that's by lack of filtering. So I actually in this flight went to do some filter parity between INAV and Betaflight, setting my filters lower in Betaflight uh, to more closely match what I had in iNav and notice this right I was going to do some sort of other flight footage and notice this as soon as I took off I could hear it and uh, I could see it at certain points and I was like well there's something wrong here and decided to bring it back in and land it so you got to kind of be aware and self-assess when you're especially if you're making changes to the quad and or uh, the, the environment changes, the air altitude changes if you're going to different locations uh, and or the temperature and the air density changes just from the seasons. These are some of the things that could creep in that um, could be more subtle and uh, cause motors to burn up. If you are interested in seeing how these things look in a black box log, check out the link down below. That can be helpful to de ascertain what access the issue is coming from. Is it the roll? Is it the pitch? Is it the y'all? We're going to have a Patreon video linked down below to, to explore that a little bit further. But outside of that, thanks everybody. Hope this helped and drop any questions you might have down in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one.